Hello everyone. I'd like to take the time to thank you for watching this video where we're going to go over an automated and integrated banking solutions through Oracle Cloud Services demo. What we're going to show you here is we're going to tell you the scenario that we've built up for our customers as well as show you chatbot technology, RPA technology, and blockchain technology and how this can be useful in this situation. So let's start with the customer point of view. We have James Hartman. James Hartman just moved to a new state where he was utilizing a bank in his previous state that just isn't available to him in his new state. He needs to be able to open an account, but he just doesn't have the time between work and family affairs to go to the bank and set up an account. One of his friends tells him that there's a bank that he can create an account to and he can do it online. Let's delve into how this looks from the bank's point of view. We have the bank that's been growing through acquisition. They've been acquiring other banks. And some of the problems that they're having is integrating different systems that the banks were using into you know, one cohesive whole bank. They also have issues with onboarding customers, such as getting information from a customer and then inputting it into their systems. You know, Humans are prone to error and exhaustion, so they want a way to automate this. And we worked with them to show them how they could do this utilizing Oracle technologies. In order to start the chatbot, I'm going to hand it off to Vijaya. Hello, everyone. I'm going to showcase you uh, the chatbot part of uh, what we have built for James Hartman. So this is the portal that we have built, and it has a small chatbot icon. And if James clicks on this icon, he can really easily open up the chatbot window, and he can quickly say hi, and the chatbot is going to respond with three options. That is create account, access account status, or we can he can check the balance. So our aim right now is to create account via chatbot. So I'm going to click on create account. It's going to ask you the username. So it's James Hartman in our uh, use case. And here's the address. and then our phone number, and then the preferred email, and any of the blogs. So he has a blogs. The chatbot is going to give us a chance to verify the information, whatever we have uh, given to it, and confirm if it is correct or not. In our case, um, I am confident of my information, so I am choosing to give, give an S. It's going to trigger the RPI UI path, which is going to be discussed by Brian to you. So what you're going to see here is that the information that was collected by the chatbot is going to be input in the bank's CRM application. So here you can see that the RPA agent is actually going to be able to log in with credentials into the CRM application. It's going to check to see that James Harmon is currently not a customer affiliated with the bank at Oracle. And then it's going to start inputting his credentials here. The power from the RPA agent is going to be in its ability to integrate with legacy systems. Considering the bank most of the time utilizes legacy systems, it's going to be able to check to see if James Harmon is affiliated with one of its associated banks through a terminal application. Here you're going to see that it's actually going to go and find that James Harmon is affiliated with one of the associate banks. The power here is that when the outreach team or the marketing team is targeting James Harmon as a customer. They're not seeing James Harmon, you know, dot new customer. They're seeing James Harmon, you know, who's been affiliated with the bank since the 70s. So when it comes to offering him services, let's say James Harmon ever gets interested in going after a credit card from the bank, instead of getting like a new account, he'll be offered something similar to a platinum or rewards account based on his associated history with the bank. Today I'm going to show you the ways that Bank of Oracle has used blockchain uh, to manage their document management lifecycle. So James Hartman has spent a little bit of time with Bank of Oracle, and now he's ready to use some of their services. So we're going to show him signing up for a credit card from two perspectives, one from his own and the bank itself, so that he will apply for a credit card and the bank will send back documents to him for him to sign, and he'll sign those documents and move on. Each one of those transactions will be stored on the blockchain. So James is going to come into the portal and log in. We will switch between blue and red for admin and user, but he's going to come in, see that there are a credit card available to him. He'll apply for a card. It'll pop up with a status of applied. And now we're going to log out and show what happens uh, from the admin perspective. The admin will log in and see that there is a new credit card uh, available for him to approve. So we'll send an agreement out to James Hartman. And then James will now be able to log in, review the document, and begin the document management lifecycle starting and how it's saved on the blockchain. So he can drop down from his signed document and see the history as it develops. So he'll open the document, review it, 
and do his very best to sign the document online and then click save to finish the signing in. And now the admin will come back again and be able to review the document and finally approve his credit card. So he'll be able to come in, see that there is an approve button available. You can see that the entire life cycle has been stored on the blockchain. And we can also have a little view into the blockchain here, seeing that every single transaction that has gone through for the bank and its history. Over the course of this project, you saw Vijay explain how the chatbot was able to collect information from the customer. And then OIC was able to take that information and then send it over to our RPA technology, where it was able to take that information and put it in the bank's custom CRM system, as well as check the legacy system for the James Harmon customer. Justin was able to go over how we were able to use blockchain technology to go over the document lifecycle management of James Hartman's credit card application. Ultimately, what this means for the customer is that they're able to reduce the time and cost of onboarding a new customer. They were able to collect information from the customer and then enter it into their CRM application as well as check their older legacy systems to see if that customer did exist. They are able to do it much more quickly and efficiently using robots as opposed to humans who are prone to error as well as exhaustion. Using blockchain technology allows them to be able to create an audit trail of the entire credit card process to see, you know, potentially where there might be drops in the process or to manage how information or the onboarding process is handled so that they can, you know, audit the process as well as improve the process. Ultimately, this reduces risk and improve controls over the entire onboarding process. We'd love to talk to you and show you how Oracle Integrated Solutions can help you solve your business problems.